Today's show is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Access games, TV shows, and websites that are locked in your region at expressvpn.com slash inside. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Inside Gaming Daily for Wednesday, and a happy hump day to everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, is bah, that your family bah, tartan you're wearing? Bah. Yeah, it's a kilt. <laughs> that is a nice hump for GameStop, the company that is famous for bending you over on trade-ins. GameStop has made the news a lot lately. None of it's good. We've talked about it, I don't know, two, three, four times a week. So you've heard about it. Well, the coronavirus has turned us all into shut-ins. GameStop is not letting a little thing like a worldwide pandemic slow it down. It's another GameStop story today and I don't want to use the commercials again, so you know the drill. I'll do stock footage of, um, I don't know, just the guys hanging out. Just the dudes, you know? Yeah, the retailer infamously refused to close its doors for as long as possible, but was finally shamed into it. When we say shamed, we mean forced by the authorities. And they mm -hmm. were very cross indeed. They basically had to do it at gunpoint. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Yeah, GameStops have been closed to the public in most areas for a few weeks now, but don't worry, they're still being really responsible. In lots of places, they're still operating with a small staff to give customers their internet orders. Just, you know, Wrap your hand in a plastic bag and crack the door. The coronavirus definitely can't get through a cracked door, just as long as it's a few inches. Man, me and this virus have a lot in common. But fulfilling internet orders apparently isn't enough to keep the money train rolling, because now GameStop says it's planning to start fully reopening some locations around the world, including here in the US. This feels like in a zombie movie when you look outside and you're like, I think they're all gone, and you poke your head out and one immediately bites you. Guys, what are you worried about? It's fine. <laughs> Except if that guy is GameStop, he walks out in the street and says, guys, it's fine, and then shoots the other survivors. So that makes sense. I mean, we've got the coronavirus fully under control, so it's time to reopen business. Nothing could go wrong, and that sounds totally safe. Yeah, yesterday GameStop announced plans that includes reopening stores in two states, South Carolina and Georgia, as well as in Italy, Germany, and Austria. Those are states? They're really nice. They got a lot of history. You should go visit. So nothing could go wrong, basically, right? The, actually, those two states were not picked at random. Governors in both South Carolina and Georgia have said they'll allow certain businesses to reopen. Clearly, GameStop wants to be first in line. South Carolina, which has more than 4,000 cases of the coronavirus, not letting that slow them down, said earlier this week that clothing stores, furniture stores, floor shops would be allowed to reopen immediately. So I guess GameStop's going to start carrying flowers. And despite the more than 18,000 cases in Georgia, its governor said that businesses like gyms, tattoo parlors, and hair salons could reopen essential businesses. And next week, he said restaurants and movie theaters could too, as long as they practiced social distancing. <laughs> it's not even trying to hide it. They could practice social distancing. Just go to watch any DC movie and there'll yeah. be plenty of social distancing. Ooh, yeah. got it. Oh wait, I think DC is part of our company now. So go oh, see them, they're great. That was a big complaint about our Sonic review is that we were just mad at Sonic because Birds of Prey didn't perform as well. Yeah, <laughs> serious. I was livid. I'm one of the five dudes online who insists that DC movies are way better than Marvel. Oh god. Target acquired! Well, thank goodness the tattoo parlors will reopen. It's very easy to give someone a social distancing tattoo. I want to see a, a tattoo gun with a six-foot needle. <laughs> <laughs> or it's stick oh. and poke with a blow dart. Oh, that's a good idea. How am I gonna get my 20th Legend of Zelda tattoo? This one's a Triforce, but this one is a Triforce. And look, we get it. We can't stay shut down forever. The virus is endemic at this point and trying to avoid it entirely won't work. But we have to be very slow and very smart about how and where we reopen the economy. And uh, apparently video game stores are on that list too. Uh, video game stores that had appallingly bad hygiene practices. <laughs> don't know if that really makes the smart list. This is America. We don't do slow and smart. Also, so when there are major retailers who are still open, who sell video games and also the internet. Anyway, uh, oh, Brian, do you want us? Sure, I would love to. Oh, great. GameStop, <laughs> GameStop didn't give a timeline for its reopenings in those states, but they noted that business had been booming since just before they closed stores, at least most of them about a month ago. They said in the fiscal period that ended March 21st, the date when the company closed its stores to customer access, comparable 
U.S. store sales grew approximately 3%. That 3%, that might sound insignificant. It's huge though for GameStop because they've been seeing sales drop for years. So any kind of increase is good. Some say the Grinch's sales grew 3% that day. <laughs> wow, Doris. Uh, unsurprisingly. Welcome Christmas. <laughs> Welcome Christmas. Welcome. <laughs> With their toys and their bats and their Funko Pops and Fortnite gliders. And the Grinch himself resold his console. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, shutting down stores caused business to plummet, so you can see why GameStop would want to reopen as quickly as possible from a business standpoint. From a moral point of view, eh, it's not good. It's pretty crappy, actually, but hey, mm -hmm. we shouldn't expect anything less from GameStop. On one track is many, many bodies, but on the other track for the trolley is some profit. <laughs> Is three percent, baby. 3%, we got a yeah. profit. Yeah. yeah, that's another hot tub at the vacay home. <laughs> Some guy who took a job at GameStop. And here's an interesting fact: apparently, GameStops in Australia just never closed. Their sales are booming, <laughs> up twenty-four percent from the year before. Oh hell yeah! Have you seen Stone Cold ET? No, I haven't. The YouTube video of a man <laughs> in an ET mask doing Stone Cold impressions and drive-throughs. So <laughs> it's the best thing on YouTube. <laughs> oh hell! Yeah! But yeah, GameStop operates about 5,500 stores in 14 countries. They're truly a global company. But actually, mm -hmm. most of those are in the U.S. and Canada. Here in the U.S., GameStop said about one-third of U.S. store locations remain closed, with two-thirds of stores closed to customers, but they're available for curbside pickup. Of course, GameStop also tried to get itself declared an essential business so that it could stay open. That got them in major trouble, though, in Massachusetts, which closed GameStops down completely there after they learned that they had, you know, less than hygienic practices. Yeah, that's where they famously instructed employees to wrap their hands in plastic bags while giving customers their internet orders. It's the kind of soulless corporate dictate that really underscores where GameStop's real priorities are. Mm -hmm. In the game. Power to the players to get coronavirus. But don't worry, they're still saying how much they care about our health and safety. In announcing these reopenings, CEO George Sherman said, as we continue to navigate these unprecedented times, our priority has been and continues to be the well-being of our employees, customers, and business partners. He said oh, from the from the yeah. helm of a wooden ship. <gasps> that's total BS, because if that's all they cared about, they wouldn't be doing this. But don't worry, old George and the rest of the executive team are taking pay cuts, well, temporary pay cuts. Solidarity, brothers. The union makes us strong. But don't unionize GameStop. That's that's George talking. <laughs> uh, we're actually a family here. We don't need unions. Yeah. Families don't take weekends. Yeah, George's salary is being reduced by 50%, but his annual salary is at least 1.1 million, so please don't feel bad for him. Not that you were. I like that we're on a first name basis. George, friend yeah. of the show. The rest of the executive leadership team is taking a cut of 30%. Feel bad for those fellows. Meanwhile, the board of directors is getting their cash compensation temporarily reduced by 50%. Oh no, Reggie. Oh. They're also cutting the pay of certain other employees across the company's worldwide operating units between 10 and 30%. Sherman also said that GameStop has, quote, offered certain corporate and other support team members the option to work under either half-time slash half-pay structure or a temporary furlough program. Yeah, he wrapped up by saying GameStop came into this pandemic, quote, with a strong balance sheet and believe we have sufficient cash and liquidity for the foreseeable future and will continue to take all the necessary steps to ensure GameStop remains a strong and vibrant company at the end of this crisis. Oh, that's another good point. They still have more than $700 million in cash in the bank. So it's not even like they were in danger of going out of business like immediately. They have money in the bank. That's what he means by strong balance sheet. They just need more money. That's why they're reopening. Well, yeah, of course. I'm sorry, Brian, do you not like money? I mean, I get we need businesses and I get that we need to make money to pay the employees, but man, willfully putting people in harm's way is yep. just the lowest of the low. And that rationalization, like, um, we give the gift of happiness to people, so oh we God. actually are essential. It's like when your f***ing shitty brother didn't get you a birthday present for the 10th year in a row. Um, I gave you the gift of uh, being a badass brother. 
Yeah, but overall, GameStop has been seeing its business decline for years now, despite this temporary bump in sales, thanks to everyone being quarantined and playing more video games. So GameStop clearly wants to reopen as many stores as possible ASAP so that it can take advantage of this situation. Georgia and South Carolina are just the first states. We're sure there will be more to come, especially in the Southern US where lots of governors seem more willing to reopen businesses as soon as they can. We're not gonna let y'all tell us what to do. If we can't secede, then we will form a death pack. Our leaders in Texas, like our Lieutenant Governor said the other day, some things are more important than living. I and saw that. by that he I meant that. businesses reopening. Yep. <laughs> no way, really? Yeah. yeah. It's like the stupidest, most outdated method of thinking. And it obviously, it doesn't work for a virus, but they can't wrap their heads around the fact that it's a virus and not a guy they can punch or shoot. But yeah, as states continue to reopen GameStop, you can bet is going to be first in line to do so no matter the risks to its employees or customers. Hope they got enough plastic bags for everybody. Just when you thought GameStop couldn't get any lower or more money grubbing, they managed to find a new depth to sink to. I know what you're thinking. It's a possible and it's not it's really not you can always lower the bar gamestop buried that bar so long ago it can't be done as you may have noticed we've done a lot of gamestop